It's great to be with so many members here at National Convention, and hello to all of you at home who are tuning in online. What a whirlwind year I have had meeting so many of our members and learning more about what each of you are doing as you work our great auxiliary programs. As you know, the ALA has existed for almost 100 years now, and our contributions to our veterans, our country, and our communities have proven to be just what our country needs. Over this past year, I learned just how proud you all are of the work you do and the pride you have in our organization, whose mission we all totally embrace. Throughout this past year, when I visited your departments, you clearly demonstrated your devotion to the ALA mission. I visited with units who had never before received a visit from a national officer. So it was a special thrill to meet so many members of our organization. During my visits, I was blessed to be able to so hug prayer pillows with junior members and senior members, stuff socks of love for the homeless with the entire Legion family, as well as local law enforcement officers, participate in 5K walks to raise funds for special projects, and help gather non-perishable food items to fill the pantries of state-run veterans' homes and veterans' transition programs. The fun didn't stop here. I also made Valentine's Day cards for veterans and sang patriotic songs with preschoolers who were learning the basics of good citizenship. I also had the opportunity to tour veterans' transition facilities and meet with local ALA members who took volunteering to the next level by serving on the board of directors at their area veterans' homeless program. At the Washington, D.C. conference, and again on Monday morning, we were asked, what's your why? Well, I can say that our members across America have shown me their why by giving so much of themselves to those who have sacrificed so much for our freedom. Whether in times of peace or war, American Legion Auxiliary members have consistently volunteered at federal and state VA medical facilities, dedicating millions of selfless hours where we're needed most, and it definitely shows. Even in communities without a VA facility, our enthusiastic volunteers are not deterred, and you seek out opportunities to serve however you can. Patients' faces light up when they see us because they know we are there to help, whether to make them more comfortable or just lend a sympathetic ear. Innovations within the VA hospital system keep our volunteers busy. Through ALA Foundation grants, several units were able to effectively supplement VA programs. The Music and Memory program was one such program which might not have been implemented as quickly if not for our ALA members stepping up for ALA Foundation grants. Adult daycare, or as one facility called it, the Vet Club, should also be highlighted as a huge success. Through this new special program, the VA has found a unique way to give caregivers a day of respite. I may be prejudiced, but I am convinced that our ALA Foundation grants played an integral part in that success. Many of you may have heard me speak about caregiving this year. I address this topic whenever I get the chance, and I believe that we have made some real progress in highlighting the challenges that caregivers face on a daily basis. Many of you are currently caregivers or may become caregivers in the future. Some of you might not even realize that you are a caregiver. I have seen firsthand the current generation of veterans become the next generation to need a caregiver. I also personally witnessed the selflessness of these hidden heroes and I have remained committed to making sure that these caregivers know that they are not alone. There are so many resources available to caregivers today, including those found on the national website, alaforveterans.org. I challenge you to seek out and invite veterans caregivers into your LA family. Caregivers may not be able to attend meetings, but they continue to serve alongside their veterans, and they deserve our assistance and camaraderie. We have the power to impact someone's life by simply extending our hand to help. 
Investing in America's future by lending a helping hand to military children was also a priority mission this year. That's why I selected the Children of Warriors National President's Scholarships as my special emphasis. With your help, we were able to increase the amount of donations this year, which enabled us to award deserving students in all facets of the youth programs the gift of higher education. Thank you for making that a reality. Another highlight of my term as your national president was the opportunity to represent the ALA at the 75th anniversary of the bombing of Pearl Harbor and meet with many Pearl Harbor survivors. I was also honored to meet with several Medal of Honor recipients, as well as many active duty military and their families. As I traveled across America and abroad, I was constantly reminded that our work as American Legion Auxiliary members is never done, and our help is needed now more than ever. Sadly, my term as your national president is nearly over. I want to thank all of you here and our ALA members around the world for your hospitality, kindness, and positivity. You have allowed me to volunteer on service projects with you, laugh with you, celebrate triumphs with you, and share the joy of helping veterans and military families with you. You have inspired me, and I encourage you to continue to share your stories so that you can inspire others to join us as we help America's veterans. I also want to thank the American Legion National Commander, Charles Schmidt, and Sons of the American Legion National Commander, Jeff Frame, for their support of the American Legion Auxiliary. Their collaboration has allowed us to achieve the collective goals of the American Legion family. Thank you also to the Legion family in the Department of Washington for supporting me throughout the years. As our Legion family is important to every member, so is the support of our family at home. I wish to thank my family, Mom, Dale, Elisa, and Craig, Rob and Paula, my grandchildren and their families, and I want to especially thank the in-laws, my husband Dale's family, for their support this year. My fellow members, thank you so much for an incredible year. Please, above all else, remember that your membership is appreciated and that by belonging to the Auxiliary and asking others to join you, you are making a difference. Thank you for making a difference for America's veterans, their families, and our communities.